Beyond third base, trying to dig deep for one more. The 3 2. Swung on and missed a perfect game. And that is absolutely unbelievable. One of the most special games I've ever seen in person. How do you like it, Corey Abbott? What a game. My teammates were kind of making the joke because I like went to McDonald's in the morning and had like McGriddle, which is obviously not the healthiest thing you can eat. Um, so they're like saying like breakfast to champion. So they really, really there was nothing different than like a normal uh, start. What's happening everybody? A very pleasant Saturday afternoon to you. Welcome to Page Stadium where the LMU Lions are getting set to take on BYU. I was actually feeling a little sore. That's kind of my goal was just to put up zeros. I uh, wasn't really too worried about anything else. Starting pitcher for your LMU Lions, Corey Abbott towing the rubber right now, getting himself tuned up here to get this ball game underway. The 6-2 right-hander getting set to make pitch number one on a Saturday afternoon. His first one on the way is a fastball at the knees for a strike. Impressive start for Corey Abbott. Six Ks in ten batters he's faced in this ball game. I didn't really notice anything until about like the sixth inning. And that's because my teammate almost kind of uh, botched it a little bit. And he was like, wow, like, you know, Corey's struck out like 10 dudes in six innings. Like, he's, he's doing really well. And so, like, I had that in my back of my head, but it was mostly just about the strikeouts. It wasn't about the no-hitter or the perfect game. 10 now, double-digit strikeouts for Corey Abbott. Six innings under his belt. The fans were like really getting into it. Like the crowd started, it started getting like louder and louder. So I was like, so I could hear it. And like, that was kind of cool to like to hear, but I, it wasn't like, like, why are they doing that? Like, I don't, I don't know. Which is a fastball for a called strike to David Clawson. This crowd is into it and they have every reason to be. And I started feeling a little tired, but uh, uh, there was a play to right field, that was a diving play by Nico. And that was really cool, and I was like, yes. Thank God, like, yes. Schneeman swings, lines one out into right field, diving and making the catch, Decolati. And then that same inning, I think right after that play, someone hit like a chopper to me. Comes home, and a breaking ball hit back to the box. Abbott's got it. And it was hit pretty hard, and I just literally just jumped up and just tried to grab grab and I came down and I was like, all right. One run, five hits for the Lions. No runs, no hits for the Cougars. And it's the Corey Abbott tail right now. I threw a slider and he swung and I was just like, yes. And I was happy about that, excited we just won the game. And then my whole team is just bum rushing me and I was like what the heck's going on I glance I glance out I saw all the zeros like oh my god did I just do that just the LMU team is around him mauling him and rightfully so it just absolutely special game from Abbott it's still not fully there it's like I did that um, and that's kind of how I've been. Like I like, I don't know. I don't. I never really expected to throw a perfect game. It's been great. I don't know. Kind of riding it out for a little bit. But I need to kind of. I've already kind of turned towards my next start and like thinking how to approach that. I don't know. You gotta enjoy the moment. That's kind of it. Like, you have to enjoy it. Uh, celebrate that it happened. But then you also have to continue on with your day and keep performing like this can be like one great thing but if i keep sucking after this it's not going to really help us in any way so like you have to keep your work ethic and keep like moving on with it is what i would say